Hello everyone, my name is The Rook, and I am here with... Game Omar. And we are going to be creating a video for you today where we show you joining a game of Tecmo Super Bowl Online, then you hosting a game, and then we're going to show one of the actual servers working because you can... Apparently, Kevin tells me you can join servers now and play, and doesn't, and neither player has to host. Is that correct, Kevin? That is correct. All right then. I'm gonna be going through the instruction manual on the actual websites to make things easier, so people are assigned to follow along. The first step is to download everything. The links here allow you to download everything. I'm not actually gonna show that process because I've already downloaded it all. The next step on the listing is set up Nestopia. Okay, first file you downloaded, which is the zip folder, which I already have. Okay, it is up an archive that contains all the necessary files needed to run the emulator. If you know how to handle the zip files, which is already taken care of, and it just talks about extracting the files, I've already done that. Okay. Yep, and it's already showing the extraction here. And you can read through this stuff all yourself and everything. And I'm just going to show you the end result. Okay, now that I've extracted the files, assuming you have a controller, you have to set up your controller. I'm going to show you people where that is in the menu. One more thing I'm going to do just to make sure things, I'm going to check the feed, make sure this is recording right. It appears to be. All right, good. All right. Now I need to hit the options input to configure the controller. As you can see here, I'm using an actual Nintendo controller that uses a USB connection. And so it says key, it says left, and all the other directions here. And it says mapping. And you click on the mapping part you want. Then you hit the button under controller. I'm going to hit the left part of my D-pad. And it will appear there. And it's basically listed as Joy0 minus X. And X is seen as the horizontal axis. And since I'm going left, I would be minus on a chart. Okay, so I already have that all set up with all the other buttons, and you just go through clicking each button, clicking the direction if you're mapping a controller, or if you're using a keyboard, just click the, the option here on the right, underneath mapping, and you hit the button on your controller that's going to do that. And once you hit the button, it will move down the list. Okay, let me bring up the instruction manual again. And after mapping of the controllers, it mentions the paths. Okay, let me bring that up on here. Paths. Let me bring up the website thing as well so I can maybe have them both up at the same time. So maybe I can have that smaller. So people can see my paths lining up with the actual web pages thing. Where was it? It's under options, that's right. Obviously, my files will not be the same as the ones that are shown on here, but the basic idea of the paths is still represented. Okay, what is the next thing on this instructions? Okay, netplay, game list. Browse to where you have the TPC, TSB, tap meter, NES, which if you have following this guide, is there. Okay. Now the first one we're going to do is do you hosting and me joining you. You're still there, right, Kev? Did you, would, you, would you prefer if I called you K. Molnar or called you Kev? Eh, doesn't matter. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, let's see here. And that is recording right that way. Good. All right. Let me bit this on bigger view. All right. Set up NetPlay. Now we're ready. One of the places to start online. Oh yeah, it mentions the TPC. I can use TPC to find out what my uh, IP address is. We're going to use this later on when I'm the one hosting. But while Kevin is hosting, essentially I've gone to the Discord. Where does it mention the Discord in the instructions thing? We have sing up netplay, play the game. So I'm trying to remember where it has our Discord listed in the instructions. I'll just do Control F for Discord. Save myself the trouble of searching. There we go. Okay, it is actually on the same step I'm already on. Derp. Okay. And essentially, you can join the Discord. Now, currently on the Discord for us, 
there's a whole looking for game topic that you can use and you can also I believe there's a yeah you can use the thing that the Meeseeks box says in terms or the Meeseeks bot says you can use the commands listed here so that you know if that you're on for a game or you're off for a game and when someone joins it will say they like have a challenger has appeared and it says it's like for example on the website Thrasher's looking for a game earlier so it shows him looking for a game and it shows what they used in terms of the commands and everything. And if you finish your game and you're not looking for a game anymore, it will, you can put in there, no longer looking, and it will say stuff like, uh, AC Slater is hanging up his controller, and so that person's not re no longer looking for a game. And this Discord can be used to reach out to people and talk to them. Someone will message you when they want a game, and they will appear in your listings here on Discord. For example, K. Molnar, Kevin, here he is, and he sent me some stuff earlier in terms of the IP. So here is his IP. I think the next step might be joining the thing. Let me double check the guide. Setting up Netplay. We already discussed the Discord and everything here. I'm not going to show people how to actually join Discord. It's pretty easy in terms of you go to the website for Discord, you create a username, and then you get invited to the thing. I think the actual invite to our Discord is right here. Yeah. That's all right there in the instructions. Okay. Yes, indeed. All right, then. Okay, so the step four is playing a game. So we're going to do a game where Kevin is hosting and I am joining him. You already have uh, that stuff set up. Now, I think what I have to do is I bring up the thing for the actual game, which is using the emulator, and I bring up the connect, click on... TPC, TSB, tap me or NES. I hit launch. I accept the license window. Okay, now I need to get your IP and I put. Uh... Real quick, while you're doing that, sometimes you'll have to add the tap meter ROM into that. Uh... Oh, you're right. Yeah, I forgot to do that. While you were talking, yep. While you were talking, I ended up uh, going to the netplay thing, bringing up the ad just as you said it, and going to where I have to stored the game, which I have it stored in the my Brutopia fo folder, and then you select it, which would be TPC TSB Tap Meter NES, and that brings it up into the game list. I already have it in my game list, but if it wasn't there, it would have just reappeared. And then I hit launch, and that brings up the license window as mentioned before and then into the actual connect thing. So, we went over the instructions after all. Furthermore, if you're, uh, if you're using a Mac and not a PC, me and Rook are using, both using PCs. If you're using a Mac computer, obviously there's going to be some differences, but on the uh, techmobile.org uh, forum, there are instructions on how to uh, load up all this with on a Mac. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to show you how to work, how to set this stuff up with a Mac, but there are also instructions step-by-step, and they're very easy to, to follow. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, for Nick, I'm going to just put your just Kevin on there, and I'm going to copy the IP you sent me. In order to find your IP, you can use... Let me see here. What was it? It was IP config. That's right. Why did that not load for me? Hang on a moment. Well, my IP config wasn't coming up for some reason, so I can't use that to show how I find my IP, but I can just... Oh, you're looking for the IP. I thought you were trying to connect to uh, the game I have set up. Well, I didn't uh, connect to you yet. I was just trying to show an example. Well, another way I can get you can get your IP address is you can use the... Uh, you can go to techmoworld.com, TWPC, and that also shows your IP address right at the start. That's another way you can get it if IP configs for some reason doesn't want to 
cooperate. I'm not sure why it's not cooperating for me. I may have to look into that when we're all done, but I'm sure people will understand how IP config works, or they can go online to find that out because and figure out how IP config works. Uh, I think they briefly go over it in the log in the description down here, anyways. Okay. So we have that thing there with the log itself. And we have... Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Alright, I need to copy your IP address into there from the Discord you sent me. Alright, copy that there. Alright. And the, we put that in your ISP or IPS ID. Okay, let me put the port into here. Now what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to show me joining him, and it's just going to be our players going up to the coin toss and whatnot, just to show that things are working. We ain't going to do any like play setups or anything. We're just going to have the teams appear just to verify things are working, and also verify that the controllers work and everything. Alright, so I have your IP written in, and your port, and I'm going to hit the connect button, and that should connect to you, since you already have things set up on your end, right? Alright, let me hit that. I may have to relaunch my thing, that might be the problem, because I it just keeps on loading the window. Let me try this again then. I'll reload mine while you're doing that as well. Okay. Just, uh, make sure it's not on my end. But sometimes, it's really weird, because sometimes when you have it set up for a while, it just shuts down on its own without it saying anything to you, so... Yeah, I've noticed that as well. Yeah, I've noticed that as well sometimes. Let me try and get my thing loading here because it seems to not want to run for me for some reason now. <laughs> Alright, why are you not working? Maybe if I do this, it will work more often? Sometimes you gotta shut down the program and have it there it goes. Well, it seemed to work after I hit like run as administrator, so for some reason it wasn't working for me. Normally, I don't have to do that, but all right. So let me bring this back up. Bring up the net play. While we're doing that, uh, just Launch. Like, give you a heads up. There's something uh, when we get into the game, I kind of want to discuss something with the controllers because sometimes there's been issues where your controller isn't working. Oh if right. You do the simple tri if you do a simple trick, sometimes it it fixes it immediately. Okay, I might uh, I'd be willing to record that indeed because I'm not quite sure what you're talking about, and having people have that benefit would be good. Okay. All right, you have uh, your thing running on your end again. Everything's up and loaded. All right, I've got everything written in it here. I'm going to hit connect again. Connection can. Yep, connection confirmed. You got me on your side, right? Uh huh. I just popped up on my side. I am loading up. Uh, do you want to be player one and load up, or do you want me to? Uh, I forget a little bit. Let me figure out in the log where, in the instruction manual, where it says who, how do you set player one and player two? Because I forget how I do that. And so, if, so whoever whoever wants to be player one goes to change game, and a pop up will come up where a bunch of games will show up, or your tap meter. So you double click on the tap meter. Okay, and you already hit ready, and it said Pierre is not ready. I am not ready. You've already hit ready, yes. and you've already changed the game as well. So you're All set. All right, sounds good. So this time we'll record me being second player and you be first, and we have the game playing now. I'm gonna double check the recording feed and make sure it is working. Okay. It appears to be working. Let me hit the start button so I got more in the background on my screen. I have the game volume really loud. I made to adjust that. I didn't know it was, realize it was that loud. It was actually loud on my headset. So I'm sure it's loud on the recording as well. I gotta lower that for the benefit of all people. Alright, that's good. Alright, I'm gonna move my controller and show the cursor moving. This is me moving the cursor. Alright, Kevin, now it's your turn to move the cursor. And that is Kevin moving it. I'm touching nothing. Okay. Do you wanna 
show the controller trick now or not? Uh, sure, the controller trick now. Sometimes when you are playing the game um, and you're switching off between players one and two, your controller will be unresponsive. So the way that there's a, a little trick for that, sometimes your input got screwed up, so what you do is you click on the machine icon, which is in the uh, upper left-hand corner, you click on machine, you go to input, and then uh, something between, I want to say, port one or port two will be open for you to look at. And all you have to do is switch it over. So I, I have port one open in mind. So port one, pad one, should have the blue uh, circle on it. If it's not there, you just got to click on that and switch it over. And then 99 out of 100 times, your controller issue will be will be fixed. Okay. Um, so yeah, so you don't have to, re if your controller isn't responding, it's because it's got switched over to a different pad. Um, or you didn't set it up in the first place. If it if it got switched over, this is the way to correct that. All you gotta do is click on that, and then your controller will be 100% responsive if you set it up correctly. All right. Thank you very much for that in-depth description. Right now on my screen, I have gone to exactly where Kevin commentated, and as you can see here, I went to input. I'm actually on port two. Is that because I'm second player, Kevin, or do you have no idea? Yes. Okay. Sometimes it'll switch over where you will be, I think, the same as the other person or or not. So but all you got to do is basically switch it over. Okay. All right, well, I think that covers everything in terms of the me joining you thing. And it basically, you have the game here. You go to Team Data. You go ahead and set up your plays. You figure out what teams you're doing. You talk to the other person and, just, and figure out who's being... Uh, what team at this point and set up your plays. You just go to team data, go to playbook, do whatever you want here. And then, you, of course, once you got your teams figured out, you go to preseason, you go to man versus man. Each of you moves your cursor and grabs somebody. Go ahead and put your cursor wherever. It doesn't matter since we're just going to end the game once it starts. Obviously, this is not a fair matchup, but this is just so it shows things working a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to hit the end on it, and I think my volume is still high for the game. I'm going to end the game itself by hitting the X there, and I'm also going to lower the volume of my thing there, because that was a bit loud as well. How do I adjust my game volume more? Um, I just have it set up where it's on the main computer, so either all the audio is really high or all the audio is low. Um, yeah. I think I know what I'm doing there. Let me close out my yeah, Nistopia. There's a sound option in uh, the options menu, so I don't know if that'll change it or not. It, it, I'm unable to click on it. It's, it's not highlighted, so... Okay, I think I know what I need to do then. Well, I lowered my entire computer earlier, so I'm just going to bring that up for my entire thing and go to the mixer options. And next time I load up the Nistopia, I'll adjust the volume first thing. So let me bring up the thing now run as administrator again, and we're going to do it with me hosting and you joining this time. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it seems to launch better whenever I choose run as an administrator, so I guess I'll start using that more often, but usually I don't have to do that. All right, so let me see here. Bring up my mixer. The first thing we're doing is... Okay, it doesn't show in my mixer listings. That's interesting, as my applications. Huh. Is there any other place I can adjust the volume on here? Because I... Sound. Let's see here. Options, sound. Um, yeah, it's just a mix of everything. I would imagine, to be honest, I would just probably just lower everything on the mixer. Yeah. Until that, that could be when we can think about it. Yeah, because right now it's kind of it's kind of loud for me, and so I'm assuming the people that are getting the recording, it's also going to be loud for them. Just, just guessing. So how am I going to adjust this here? System sounds, OBS. I don't want to adjust the OBS volume because that's recording all of this. Huh. Are you sound options? Well, I was trying to do my computer sound options themselves, but I guess I'll just try the sound options on Nistopia and see if that helps. Well, I, I would just imagine the, on the NES Topia would just be for primarily that, that yeah. program. So, yeah, I, I'd imagine that. Not to mention, I don't think you really... I mean, if you just put it all... The audio is necessary for what this uh, video is trying to accomplish. 
That's actually a good point. We're just trying to like record things and teach people. So I guess the game volume is not really something we need. The visual yeah. of the game working is probably enough. So yeah, I think I will just take the master and put it at zero. I was thinking maybe adjusting it, but let's put the master at zero. And hopefully that should... Yep. That's a good point. All right. So that's all taken care of. And I can close that. So that should deafen the game volume since it was rather loud on my headset. Okay. So the next thing we wanted to show is me hosting a game. So I'm going to bring up the menus there. You find out what your IP address is by going to IP config. For some reason that didn't work on me earlier. Maybe it will work now. Let me try it again. Because for some reason my IP config doesn't want to work. And I don't know why. I'm going to have to figure out why that is. Maybe I'll Google it later. But yeah, once you have your IP address from IP config or you go to the www.tecmoworld.com TWPC and you can get your IP from there. And what you do there is you send your IP information to the person you're playing on Discord. So let me send you that so that you have that information. And the port that is mentioned in the guide is always the 6996 port. So let me send that over to Kevin. Okay. I know let me get the actual, I haven't started the game yet. But yeah, you do the same thing, go into net play, you click on it, you click launch, you hit, I put my port in here first. Currently, Kevin is not doing anything, because I have to set the game started, and then he can actually join me. Uh, yes, that is correct. Okay, so when you're, when you're joining someone who is hosting, you basically click connect, but when you're hosting your own game, you click on new game. Yep. Okay, so when you're hosting your own game, you click on new game. Yep. Okay. I'm going to change my name to the nickname thing. Okay. You know, earlier I showed, I made sure that the video did record my cursor. Let me double check that that is done. I think I put that in the settings. Output. Enable and everything, yeah. Okay, yeah, my cursor is getting recorded. And I can see it in the video in the background. That's one way of knowing. All right, so my cursor is being recorded. And we have the... Yeah, well, I recorded the cursor earlier of my cursor hitting the connect button when I joined you. And so now that I'm doing it, I have the cursor on screen, and I'm going to hit new game now and that brings up the p2p thing and you can go ahead and connect to me now that i've sent you all the information in discord connection requested connection re confirmed all right now last time you were player one i'm player one this time so i'm going to hit ready and then we'll well actually i have to change the game first the person that hits change game is the first player so i'm going to hit change game this will cap my cursor going on there i'm going to select the actual tpec tsb meter and i'm going to hit ok and I've changed the game, and it shows things here. And I hit ready, and it says you are ready. And you hit ready as well, and Pierre is ready. And here's the game actually starting. And I've dropped my controller. <clears throat> Another nifty feature about the P2P box is it can also be, it can also be used as a chat between you and your opponent. Um, if you write anything down, it'll appear in the, in the P2P box. It'll appear in the lower left-hand corner of the, uh, the game screen. So as you see, Rook just said hello to me, and I am going to reply goodbye. So you can also create your own little nickname or whatever you want to call yourself in, in, that, in that area. Okay, then. All right, well, I'm going to hit the start thing on this, and it, that way we can show our controllers both uh, having connection. I've hit start, and I am moving the cursor now. You go ahead and move the cursor. There we go. All right. What we're going to do now is go to, now we've shown uh, him hosting, me joining, and me hosting, him joining. Our plan is to show the one with the servers, where we basically all join the servers, and he's going to outline how that's done. But before we do that, we're going to just go to preseason, start a little game here, and have the game actually do a coin toss to decide who's first player and who's second player in the actual thing when me and him play. So we're going to go to preseason I'm just gonna be I'll be Bills and you be Colts or whoever you want to be all right well if you want to be Chiefs that's fine if the all right so we had a different color 
If the Colts win the coin toss, I am player one during our server game. If the Chiefs win the coin toss, then that means Kevin is player one during our server game. And we're just going to cut the game right after the coin toss. Now, Absolutely. That is correct. Now, in our little coin toss thing here, the Colts won the coin toss, so it sounds like when we do the server thing, I'm first player and you're going to be second player. So I'm going to end the current uh, thing on here. End the peer to peer menu. I'm going to hit disconnect on there. Okay. I probably should have remembered to do that, but I outlined You said... I mean, it either way works out. It's, unless you're having significant connection issues, um, then the reset option would probably be better, but it's mostly when someone's hosting connection issues aren't really a problem. Yeah, and you said go to machine, then reset. I can't see the part of the menu from there, but is there something after reset, or you just go yeah, in there? A, you'll have an option between soft reset and hard reset. That's right. The soft one, yeah. Okay, I. Well, we went over what happens there. Normally, you would see a thing appear by my reset thing that would say harder and soft, but can't show you that at the moment because my menu's uncooperating. But at any rate, that's getting done. Now, the server connection method of playing games, I have never actually done, so this is going to be Kevin mostly talking. So I'm going to close this menu and read the instructions that you sent to me earlier. Hang on a moment. Yes, that is what I plan to do. So let me bring up the Discord and read what you wrote, because I haven't read what you wrote yet. Okay, so here's the instructions to playing on the server. Don't know if playing on a Mac will be any different, but here's what I normally do. So on the peer-to-peer -peer page, so I gotta reload my Nystopia. Okay, get to the peer-to-peer -peer menu once I launch and add this. Okay. Go to switch on the right. Switch. Okay. Switch it to Calaria and a new box should open. 
Calaria, and a new box should open. Nickname... Okay. Nickname yourself whatever. Alright, I'm going to call myself Rook, because that's what I normally play as. Alright. Nickname yourself whatever. Switch to the CS to Excellent 30. Okay. CS Excellent 30. That'd be this guy. And plug this in for the IP address. Okay, this is a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be because I've never done it before. Alright, copy that. Put that back into here. And the port is the big long... Actually, it's already got the port written in there elsewhere. Okay, I have to put the port menu in. It just comes at the IP. Then I click connect. A new box should open and you should see what looks like at the chat room box. Alright, I've never seen this before. Let me see. So I'm going to hit connect. And it shows me there, and that is you. Alright, let me move this thing out of the way so I can read the rest of the instruction. A new box should open, should see what looks like a chat room box. Games going on at the bottom. If you want to open a new game, click New Game. So do I need to click your name or anything? I just hit New Game. Click New Game. Okay. Click New Game. If you want to join a game, click on the, on the game at the bottom of the screen. Did that. Okay, and then I just hit the TSB tap meter. Yes. And. So I'm going to click on. I'm going to double click on your thing. And then you'll see it, it joins me. Now our ping is, is very different. Um, sometimes when you're playing the sport server, you're, there's a greater chance of lag uh, coming between the two players, depending on the ping. Um, to be honest, I mean, it varies. Like, I've seen this game could could be laggy, it could not be laggy. It's all a crapshoot to me, to be honest. Uh, it depends on how strong your internet connection is. Um, if you want to start the game and just see if it would show up a little laggy, you're more than welcome to on that. Okay. Now, when I hit the new game thing, did you did the game window just appear for you, or did, it, did you have to click on my name or something to see the game window or anything? There was a, uh, something in the game window, uh, I'm sorry, on the bottom of the, uh, that chat box thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Since Rook created the game, he will be player one, and um, I am player two. So, but uh, just a heads up, if you were to decide, who, I mean, if you wanted to do a coin flip or something on who's going to be player one, player two, I would advise against it just because you kind of have to re uh, set up this whole thing. Uh, you have to start from the beginning, uh, reopen, reopen the program and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, have a gentleman's agreement where you use something else to decide who's first and second. As you saw earlier when we did our little second presentation where I was hosting and he was joining me, I won the little coin toss thing in there to decide it. So, gentleman's agreement, I'm player one and he's player two. And so I've opened things up here for our server and we've kind of outlined what you do if you end up being player two. Instead of me hitting the new game button, Kevin would hit it. The thing would appear down here. I'd double click where the cursor is currently and then that would bring up the game window like this. And I'm assuming I hit start now and we get things going? Yeah, yeah, if you click start, the game will open. There we go, okay. Alright, then we're going to have me and you actually having a game. Hang on a second. The volume is still on because I just heard thus clicking on the thing. So let me lower the volume again before things get messed up. Where was that again? Options, sound. I might be able to modify it now, but hmm. yeah. well, we'll just go with it. At this point, we've already gone over the instructions and everything. Uh, because we're playing the actual game, I'm assuming the sound is a bit loud because it sounded loud in my headset, but maybe the recording is adjusting. I, I doubt it. But uh, general heads up, moving forward, you may want to adjust your volume viewers if you are caring to watch our little game here. All right. We shouldn't really be saying much about the connection or anything like that. It'll just be talking about the game. Yep. If, uh, yeah, while we're here. Yep. So.
If you're unable to hear us and or the game volume is a bit loud, I apologize for that. Actually, I'm going to try going back to my mixer and... Okay, now it's actually appearing in the mixer when it wasn't appearing earlier. Alright, well that will work. Let me adjust that now. Let me cut that down to... I'll try 50 when we start the thing, and if it ends up being too quiet, then I'll raise it up, and we'll go from there. Okay. Well, before we started the whole recording process and everything, I mentioned to Kevin that I wanted to try the lions Bengals matchup, and I wanted to be the Lions. You can go ahead and adjust your playbook while I'm commentating this so that uh, people have something to look at. And that's the matchup we chose. Obviously, usually in the Discord, you would debate on the matchup, and... One person would call the matchup. The you you have a coin toss. You decide who's calling the matchup, or you use some other method to decide who's calling the matchup. Then the person who did not pick the matchup, like I said, let's go Lions Bengals. The person that did not pick it would pick a team, and Kevin at this point would say Bengals, and so he's playing as the Bengals. And then after that, you would decide who is. Normally, the person that calls the matchup is first player. There are times that if you win the coin toss and you have no idea what matchup to call against somebody, you can just say, hey, I'll take first player and you call the matchup. And that's something you can do sometimes. Uh, there isn't much of an advantage to being first player versus second player. Uh, first player does have a slight advantage in terms of uh, when a first player does a kickoff, there's a higher percentage of them getting an onside kick than I think there's like a... I want to say it's like an 8% chance that when you want to kick it, you'll get the ball or something. Maybe I'm off on that value, but basically, obviously it's a low chance. Odds are that your opponent will still get the ball, but you'll have a certain amount of chance. If you're player two and you do an onside kick, you have a lesser chance of getting the onside kick simply because of how the programmers made the game. So that's really the only advantage that exists in terms of first player versus second player. I suppose psychologically you could prefer being on the left side of the screen or you could prefer being on the right side of the screen and maybe that's to some degree an advantage or disadvantage for you but there's no actual change going on outside of onset kicks. Normal kickoffs are unaffected by this uh, issue but onset kicks does change the percentage because it's harder for player two to get a onset kick that they themselves kicked than it is for player one to get an onset kick that they that player one kicked. All right, you've already got everything set up, right, Kevin? I wasn't uh, paying attention. I was focusing. I'm good, I'm good to go. All right, good, because I was just focusing on my own commentary. So what I'm trying is an unorthodox idea that I have never tried before in this matchup. I'm gonna not have Barry Sanders as my running back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna have Mel Gray, and I'm gonna have Sanders as my tight end. Sanders and Wilder have the same hitting power and. The Lions team is kind of devoid of hitting power on offense. You normally have Wilder as your tight end, but because Wilder has some pretty crappy speed, I figured, you know what, let's try Sanders at tight end for just once, because I feel like Mel Gray, I'm going to get decent penetration with him in the running back anyways. I don't feel like I need Sanders there, but I feel like I might need Sanders in comparison to Wilder, because Sanders is a serious upgrade over Wilder. Meanwhile, Gray versus Sanders is not as big as of a change. So I've got Grady as my running back. As wide receiver one, I will be putting Wilder there for his hitting power. I'm going to have Clark as my... Well, I guess technically it's wide receiver two is Clark and wide receiver three is Johnson. Though normally there's like a running back thing here if you're playing teams with two running backs. When uh, Kevin was setting up his Bengals thing, you probably noticed that there was a two running... There was a second running back on screen. Okay, so I have Ronnie P as my quarterback. Gray as my running back. This is all good. I'm still going to have Wilder on the kick returns and punt returns. All right, and I already mentioned what playbook I was going to use in our game. Because I wanted to test this out with Sanders being my tight end. Keep that there. That there. Where is that? And I wanted to try these T-formation plays simply because I feel one will kind of disguise the other. This will make it so Johnson goes short more often. I'll have, two, I'll have three plays where Johnson is getting the ball pretty short. And it's pass three, pass four, and pass one. I'll have one play where he goes long. His, his speed is bad, but his catching ability is amazing. And I'll have Sanders in the middle of the field moving very quickly on some plays and him going deep on these two plays here. Okay. All right. Well, I think we got this all figured out. Can you think of anything else we should say and or discuss with the viewer before we start the game? 
rules of uh, an online play, you're not allowed to uh, lurch with your defensive tackle, unless obviously you both agree upon it at the begin before the start of the game. Yeah, you can't really lurch with a nose tackle, which I mean by that there's a kind of a glitch in the game where on a regular like formation on offense and defense, if, if unless the play is in a shotgun, you can basically just take the nose tackle and press dive immediately as the play goes, and a lot of the time it'll sack the quarterback. Uh, that's not allowed in online play. Um, also, you can, you unless the play is a reverse, um, you are not allowed to have a wide receiver or tight end uh, as a running back. Unless, obviously, of course, once again, uh, both players agree upon it before the start of the game. So, like he's so for example, uh, I'm not allowed to have McGee as a uh, running back, so I can't have him carrying the ball. However, you are allowed to have running backs as wide receivers or tight ends, like he has done with Barry Sanders. Um, reason being for that is uh, some running backs are better as wideouts, um, or they're they're faster. Um, so that's that's formidable. Other than that, nothing really is standing up to my mind. So, yep. Good luck, sir. All right, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna drink some water before we get started because I'm I've kind of been talking a lot. I'm hoping you have something to drink there yourself. Uh, I die of thirst. It's all good. <laughs> all right, then let's see if this awkward strategy of mine has any value. Hang on one second before you do that. I must adjust the volume because I had difficulty hearing you over the volume there at the start of the thing. So let me try to see if I can adjust this a little more. Okay. All right, let me lower the thing because in the headset I had trouble hearing you, but I don't know how easy it is for the people doing things. So I'm going to lower this a little bit more. Or what? you know what, I'll just put it at zero. I'll just put the game volume at zero. That way people can hear you. Or, well, I'll put it very low so that I can hear it in terms of the thing. Let's put it at 25 and see if that does things. All right, you can go ahead and pick your option. I already kind of know what you're going to pick. One more second here. Hang on. I'm going to lower that a little more. I was able to more easily hear you over the game, but I'm going to put the game a little bit more. I'm going to put the game at 15, and you can talk normally. As opposed to doing a weird accent. (laughs) All right, go ahead and kick it. That is correct. Yeah, same here with my computer, so obviously the connection looks pretty smooth right now. That is correct. Ooh, one thing we didn't show was port forwarding in the recording. It just dawned on me. Well, we may have to make a little thing at the end there where I just go over the port forwarding. Because when you do the... Or I can bring it up now, I guess. I wish I could help you like information-wise on that, but I had a, uh, a guy, uh, Trojan, do it for me. And... Well, I can just bring it up on screen and show it to people now before we continue the game. Uh... Essentially, what I did was I went down and looked at my router, got the exact IP address, which is shown here in terms of how I would connect to it from my PC. I logged in on the actual router. It should give you a login, username, and password. For me, my admin, my username was admin, and my password was actually a bunch of different like uppercase, lowercase letters, and numbers. When I logged into the IP on there, it came up with a username and password thing. I put in my username. I put in my password and then you go to the actual view here for my router it's a UB router and you go into the settings you go to advanced you go to forwarding here you'd put in the the IP address you get from IP config earlier it wasn't working out the Google why that wasn't working I think I have a separate video on my channel where I went over some of the I the port forwarding when I was having actual issues connecting people I might make that video public but essentially you get your IP from IP config, you put in the IP address, you go to you create a new one and you put in the information of your IP address. The port would be 6996. You put that in the start port, the end port, and the external port. For protocol, you want to do both 
for TCP and UDP and then you want to hit enabled and then you want to hit apply and that will add it. I've already done that and so you see that here everything's enabled. I gave it a description of Tecmo since I, that way I know what it is and that's how you set the port forwarding before you host a game. You would do this you would do this before launching the Nestopia and doing the hosting process and this would help you in terms of port forwarding if you're having issues connecting in that matter. All right. I think that's a brief. I would like to add one thing. Sometimes um, the thing would not work, the port forward, forwarding, because of the firewall. Uh, you would have to, I think, disable the firewall in order to uh, complete the uh, port forwarding. Um, but then once everything is, is done, you can re reestablish your firewall. I just remember, uh, I think Trojan had a problem with uh, with that for me. Okay. Uh, All right. All right, well, I think that goes over to that. Let's continue our game. I have a separate video on my channel where I was uh, trying to figure out exact issues in terms of, because I wasn't able to do joining and hosting when I had a update go on on my computer, and War Machine ended up helping me out with that. But I created a video where it showed uh, me going over port forwarding when things weren't working. But essentially, I had things set up right, and the people trying to connect to me weren't connecting to me correctly, and War Machine showed me that, so... That video is also helpful in terms of learning port forwarding and another way of reviewing over hosting and or joining processes. All right, now let's go back to our game and actually have some fun. Okay. All right. What I might do is when I post the video, I'll have a timestamp to when we started things and when we actually started playing. <laughs> Make it so people can watch things easier. All right. Let's go. Oh, damn. That's right, I forgot that you're just going to popcorn him in that scenario. Should have tried to swoop around during that. Fulcher and his great hitting... Yeah. But Fulcher's great hitting power, and I have Wilder on my, receiver, on my running back thing, so he blocks, and Sanders on my tight end. Okay, I figured that's because Sanders faster, he'd be able to get in front of you there, but it didn't matter. Johnson couldn't come, he couldn't come down with it in that scenario. I, for a minute there, it looked like I was throwing the ball to Johnson, too, though. That's weird. It's hard to get those slant rounds that quickly. I mean, with that, you're hoping to get that diving catch with Sanders, but I was thinking just a second or two, uh, then I'll watch. Ready, down, put, 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 put. Yeah, I was hoping to try and shake things off. I'm at the punnet here. Yeah. Crap happens. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hang on a sec. Yeah, because of the lag there, I ended up doing a rather short pump, but that happens sometimes. Word to the wise, always trying to like hit the button faster when you're online so you don't end up doing what I did there and getting a short punt. Now, what were you saying about a tournament? Oh, real quick. Uh, kicking online is very different than kicking in the game. It's, it's like you got to get a feel for it every now and then. But uh, I, I, my recommendation for punts and kickoffs would be don't try to get it as, don't try to hit it right on the full blast. Try to get it just as close and just play it safe. Uh, it, like I said, there's a little bit of a delay, a little bit of a lag with punts and kicks, but I think that's just how, uh, how it works. Um, what I would say, uh, there's a tournament in Columbus next month. I want to say on the 18th, Saturday. I know, uh, I'm, I wanted to meet Brian Adams, uh, Ryan McKay, Joe Mama all did it last year, and it was a blast. Uh, and that's Columbus, right? Yeah, Columbus. It was, uh, doable. That's and, right. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're planning on doing, uh, going down the day before or anything about that, but, yeah, we're... It's only a two-hour drive, but I, I, I just registered for it yesterday. I can't, can't wait. We're doing oh. uh, Division One and Division Two, which is uh, Division One is like the Joey Gats and the Morps, yep. like that type of thing. And uh, Division Two, uh, we Kumite, the Detroit tournament had did the same format and got a great turnout from everybody. Or it all they did Division One, Two, and Three, with Three being the newcomer, Two being 
you think you're, I mean, you're still relatively new, you think you're good. Um, well, I should just put it to you, I mean, uh, put it to you this way, Brian, uh, Mark Nutter, uh, Brian's brother Jason and Joe all did the Division Two, and they all did very well in it, but there was some really good competition in Division Two. Um, me and Ryan did uh, Division One, and we didn't fare that well, so... Well, I may be able actually to I may be actually able to play with you this year in that tournament. As you recall, my workplace usually gets busy around the holidays, given that uh, I do a lot of software quality assurance for a card company, and so the holidays are important. And Mother's Day is actually the twelfth this year, and the tournament's on the eighteenth. So I'm there's a better chance of me going to the tournament this year. So because I, I there's almost no way I can call off time around Mother's Day. But since Mother's Day will already be over, I think I should be able to to swing that. I'll try and talk to my boss about that when I. See him on Monday. Well, it's a good time, though. I mean, a lot of good people there. Um, plus, I, I, I don't know if they're going to be streaming it this year, but they had uh, Troy, who did uh, Tech Monthly one last year uh, from uh, Jeep Land. I can't think of it. Um, but he, he did the, the streaming for it last year, and a lot of, it was a lot of fun. Okay. All right, well, let's continue our game then, because I'm sure some people are like, let's play the game! <laughs> All right. Oh, screw you. <laughs> well, at the moment, with my whole short kick, it might get out of hand pretty quickly. Shoot. Oh, what the? I ran kind of through you there at the moment. Yeah, this, the game sounds a little stuttery, but hopefully that's not bothering too many people. Because it's sounding a little stuttery in my headset. Okay. While you were discussing that, I ended up uh, bringing up the browser and showing off Tecmo Geek so that people are aware of it. Let me bring the game back up. And make sure that's still recording. Absolutely it is. Okay. As I set the record as just my monitor screen so they can see my whole monitor. I don't care that they see the timestamps and other kinds of stuff like that. Okay. All right. Let us actually get things going. All right. I got to figure out what play I'm going to call them based on what you're doing. This is what happens when you pause too much. I know, it, I know it's not much more. That's the only thing I know. Okay. It's past four, yeah. Alright, good. Oh, damn it, why my guy had to dive? I believe I mentioned you before what I, ha what I call it when someone dives inadvertently. I call it diabetes. And you just it's not good when you have a player with a bad case of diabetes. Alright. Let's see. I think you're gonna do that. Nope, you did something different. Crap. And I got tackled by the linebacker by the uh, offensive line. Yeah. Oh damn! Well, I, I thought you'd get followed your guy, and I have a chance, or maybe I could get a dive on there. But oh well. Well, I feel like I had the. Well, I feel like I had the same chance with uh, Spielman as I did Coffer. Yeah. True. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Iggy Woods got his shuffle on today, and hope you enjoyed your cold cuts.
Now it's hopefully I can do something good with the ball. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't like that one guy down there that's trying to slow me down. I hesitate on running the ball because of that guy. Ah, oh, Dan. I, I tried to pull back on my... Yeah, I tried to pull back there, and it, I guess my D-pad input didn't get in there. I tried to like, go down, but... I was trying to go down, but my D-pad input didn't get felt. I tr I held down the D-pad to try and go down, but it didn't happen for some reason. I must have hit, not hit... Yeah. Yeah, and there's not any different conditions. Alright. Well. I'll give that a try. Yeah, I am. I figured maybe Clark could get it, and I figured Fulcher would be opposition, but it didn't happen. I'm just getting myself wrecked in this game. It's not even a matter of me testing out my Sanders strategy on tight end, because I'm not even having the ball long enough for it to matter. Actually, before I give you the ball, I'm going to check conditions just so I can have things set for when I get the ball back. Because it is the start of the second quarter, but it looks yeah. like nothing's changed on my team. Nope, nothing of value has changed. Yeah, I, I don't care about the bench in this situation. I'm just having a bad day. And that time I kicked it a lot uh, sooner than before it hit the max just to be safe. And this is an actual good kick. Yep. Now you're going later. Later on, you're going to go watch the final four with some friends of yours. When are you planning to leave on that? Because you plan to leave to like much closer at to six, so we won't have to worry about that, right? Uh, I was gonna probably leave around five. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll be way done with the game before then. All right. Hopefully, if we're not, I I may I may strangle you. And I will be. And yeah, I I think I would deserve getting strangled for that. <laughs> All right. Let's go with. There's a tournament going on today. There is? Okay, I didn't even know what was going on. I must not have been paying attention. All right. Nah. I tried to hit the dive button earlier, but it didn't get through in the thing. Okay, so my dive button is indeed off, used, working because I used it there. I just didn't hit it fast enough. Okay. All right, let's see here. To figure out what I want to do. Uh, no, I'm using my my actually have a USB controller. Oh damn. Well, I didn't think Woods would take me out there. I thought Spielman would have a decent, a much better chance, but I guess not. I found that, uh, sometimes it works with that, but if you're Spielman on that play, I was running up and bumping the, uh, for the right target and blocking the right side of the field, so I was running up and bumping the too, so. Alright, well, I'm gonna try Spielman in this thing and drop back in the coverage, because I know what play you're doing. But I did call pass, so I should be alright. At least I'm hoping so. Okay, good. Alright. Alright, good. So Kofor did drop back. The oh, everyone's dropping back the coverage. I can come at you. If I can get this thing working right. I think I might be lagging a little bit, but you gotta deal with that sometimes. Alright. 
Yeah. Well, hopefully most viewers have already stopped watching. They've learned what they needed to learn from the hosting experience and are not watching me get my butt whooped a little bit. <laughs> if that ends up happening. Ugh. I was going to try and turn and... I was going to try and turn and dive there, but it didn't happen. I was going to try and turn and dive, but D-pad didn't put didn't get in through there and... Damn. I tried to turn away from the blocker coming, but it didn't happen. I have to figure out what I'm doing here. I'm thinking the linebackers just aren't working for me, and I should go with the secondary at this point. Yeah. Yep. It's so much better than all the other run plays. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. I need to actually get some offense for once. Good lord. No, I didn't pick run three. I was. Apparently, I'm not really getting. I know you thought I was doing run three, but I didn't. <laughs> well, I called it once earlier. At least I thought I did. Yeah, I probably should have done that a lot sooner, actually. No, he didn't. Oh, but it doesn't matter. He's not going to get that. Yeah. Yeah. My best option is to try one more time to get a, a touchdown and then try and milk the clock with a punt. And if I need somebody that's going to have the speed, I'm going to go with Sanders. I don't care. Maybe he'll beat him speed-wise. Or not at all. Well, I was going to have to punt it anyways, and this works just as well because you got no time to do anything with it. And we will let the halftime show play for the people that care about that. But I don't think we're getting it. Nope, we're not getting what some people seem to always want. Yeah. Yeah. My personal opinion, it's not real, so I usually ask the person, are you okay with skipping, And before I skip, because you don't want to just randomly skip, because some people, that will piss them off, because they don't get to see what they want to see. I, 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 I'm just going to do it on purpose. Oh. At that point. I, I, I'll, that's, what, that's forget that. Oh. Yeah. Hey, I, at least I'm a person that's like, if you want that, I'll let you have it, but if you don't care, and I, I personally don't care, I'm going to skip it. Kevin Molnar with some words. <laughs> Alright then. Okay. I am not having a good day, I'll tell you that much. At least I have Sanders as a wide receiver. I'm probably going to need him more as a wide receiver at this point since I'm playing from behind. Oh shit. That is not good for me at all. What the? I didn't... Well, the thing is, my guy dived way after the ball already even got to you, so what the heck, game? Alright, well, I, I might not be using Spielman the rest of the game with that in mind, because I did not hit the dive button, and the ball had already gotten there, and the player dived. What in the heck? And you guys saw that. That was ridiculous. Alright. Ah, uh, shoot. It is not my day. At least the recording went well. At least little miracles. Well, I'm going to try something here. Can I get a dive off? No, I can't. I'm just 
mashing that B button, hoping I could get a dive off on Woods, but it's not going to happen. All right, note to self, don't try that again. Well, I figured I'd try it once, and since it not, didn't work, I'm not going to try it again. Just go with Kofer, because Spielman definitely is not doing good for me today. Yep. All right. Oh, damn it. Well, you probably gotten roughly the same amount of yards, to be honest, with given where the defenders were. Yeah, but I would have guaranteed myself a first down and not thrown into possible coverage. Yeah, in terms of the risk, yeah. Yeah. Still, it was I think it was a, two linebackers diving at that. I'm not sure if that was a cornerback on my team or not that the CPU was controlling, but I was definitely a linebacker. Yeah, yeah, it, I know we'll cope for it there. That's enough. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get some secondary involved in this because I'm not doing so well. It's white, isn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah white. There he is. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Today, St Spielman's doing all the bad things for me. Yeah. He's if if he's looking for a contract, he's not being re-signed by me. There we go. I got some help from Kofor for once. And I was already locked into the tapping game with you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you called the same play. Okay. I didn't think you'd do that. Oh shit. I'm in serious trouble. Get ready for the back and B barrage because I'm down three scores and that's really the only chance I got. And I've already got Sanders back there for receiving. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oftentimes I, I try to do the same Oftentimes I try to do the same strategy just not working for me today. I haven't really been getting the right level of penetration with my linebackers. Tight end. On on pass two, right? Yeah, on pass yes, two. Yes, that is him, yes. Right now, Wilder's worthless to me. And worse off, Wilder has, uh, he's in bad, so his hitting power is completely useless to me. Alright, and yeah, there's... Yeah. So yeah, Wilder run two is dead to me now. It is Fredo. He has been shot off the boat. 
All right then. <sighs> Time for the back and B barrage. Yeah, I had to do it one. Oh, Jesus, that was a huge dive on your part. Yeah. Troy destroys the controller sometimes. <laughs> At the moment, we both know what I have to do. Oh no, that's overthrown. What well, is Sanders? I needed that so bad, but I, oh. Well, I got Sanders going long, drawing Fulcher one direction, hoping he won't get back in time. He's, he got there, but... Yep. Okay, I was wondering if this play had any value, and it does get a very small amount of value in this situation. Really? Okay. That's the f I think that's the first first down I got on the ground the whole game. Jeez. All right. Come on, run a little bit. Dang it. I hit the B button to try and throw it to him right but I crossed the one, but game didn't pick it up. Oh yeah. Won't make double sure. Oh shit! Yeah, I figured I'd double check because I, I couldn't remember if I checked him in the third or if I checked him in the fourth. So that pretty much tells me that gray is worthless to me now. Uh, nope. I did do it one. I did it in the third. So I think that the rule is actually two times per half, which still amounts to one per quarter, really. Yeah. Problem is, I don't really have... Well, I think Gray is still better than Matthew, so I guess I can just have Gray come out to the field to do some stuff, but in terms of the tight end thing, it's not really useful to me. I didn't really get a chance to truly test... Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to put Gray in, but I'm just saying in terms of my strategy of having Sanders at tight end, it just didn't really come into a factor at all. So I guess I'll have Gray there, and I guess I'll throw Greer on the field. Because I'm not going to get any... It should open up your run, too, now. Gray's blocking isn't that... Oh, no, never mind. Yeah. I thought Gray's blocking was way better. But, I mean, that's just... That'd be well, him and Wilder, I think, have the same level. Oh, well, Wilder's slightly better, but he's still not of any value. No. At this point, I'm, I just put Sanders for the few times I run and just have a nice passing field. And... Yeah, but at least that opens up your run one and run two now. Like, yeah. Yeah, and because Gray is going deeper than. Your run two should be fine now because Sanders is fast enough to get around that corner if Fulcher gets caught up middle. Yeah, but I'm not going to really be need to run two at this point. I have Gray back at the tight end position so I can get some more deep field running speed. 
even though he's in bad, he's still got the speed that I need. All right. <laughs> All right. <sighs> oh, wow. My O-line just got serious penetration there. That worked for once. Three minutes, 36 seconds. Hey, I needed something. I had to at least make this game respectable. The thing is, I think I have to have at least one onside kick, so I might as well try it now. Nope, that didn't happen at all. McGee was like, I have the best hands ever. This is not happening. <laughs> Absolutely, they were. Okay. It was worth the shot. I was going to need one onside kick at one point anyways, probably. I mean, if I can't stop you on a, any kind of thing, short field, long field. I had to give you the short game. What? I did, because I didn't think you'd run it just simply for once. Yeah. And yeah, I picked run that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I just got murdered. I got myself hurt and my lineman didn't know what to do. You're right. Ah, oh, crap. Looking for some cold cuts, I see. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I killed your blocker there so much. White just, just took out Brooks there. I didn't realize he could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I gotta do something to be respectable. Yeah. Oh, what the? I overcorrected it there. Oh, what the? You're doing this just to waste more clock, aren't you now? You're not going to kick a man when he's down. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. All right. Well, I figure you're doing one of two things just so you can get back there. So it's basically which of the two pass plays I want to guess you're doing. I'm going to guess you're doing that one just because it will give you a better short-range game if you don't. Oh, no, you're doing a run-and-shoot play. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I Oh, that's what you did. Yeah, I was wondering what you are doing. You probably could have got a touchdown if you kept running there because I got locked up. But And now you're just going to do a punt once I do get you, unless you fumble it, which would be nice. But that's not going to happen. Even yeah, even if you fumbled it, I could only really score it once there, and then I'd hit the... I don't think I'd even have enough time for an onside kick in that scenario. No. Oh, that's, oh, I thought it was third down. It's fourth. That was fourth down. Okay. Well, I thought that was third down for some reason. All right. One more time, Barry. Or, well, that's gray now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well. Well, you're jumping up and hitting it before it even gets to him, so the bad condition doesn't even matter there. I, I forgot that it's gray that I put back there, so it didn't even matter in that scenario. I didn't really get a chance to utilize my strategy, but I just couldn't get any running game with gray and Wilder wasn't working. 
So I probably should have used run three more. I normally. Yeah. Yep. Normally, I do have normally I do have Wilder at my ten end, but I figured you know what? Let's try something crazy. We're not in tournament play. Let's see how it feels to actually have Sanders at tight end because they have the same hit and power, and by far Sanders is going to be faster than Wilder. But it just didn't work out, and Wilder was not able to block for me when I did the run two play. I probably should have tried doing run three more, but because of how good it is, I figured you'd be picking it more, and I wouldn't get anything with it. I should have tried using it more. Were you calling it a lot in the first and second quarter of the run three? I was calling, I want to say, pass one a lot, and pass... Okay, so I probably should have... three and run three, because run three was okay. the one I was really concerned about. Yeah, that's what I figured. I, that's why I wasn't really calling run three in the first quarter. I figured you'd be picking it more, because that'd be the play that I'd get probably the most penetration on, but... I should have just taken the risk at this point and whatnot, because I didn't, I didn't do well with what I did try, so I should have tried something else. <laughs> well, I think, yep, it was a fun game and everything. Well, I'm going to end the call and I'm going to end the game. i got to make sure, I'm going to watch the video, make sure I can edit it well and everything goes well. Hope you enjoy watching the Final Four and everything later on today. If you end up... Uh, watching Mort's tournament. Uh, hope you enjoy that as well. I might watch that later on today myself and or watch the Final Four. At any rate, hope you have a nice day. Thank you for making this recording with me. Yeah, thank you for having me. It was a blast. Anything you want to say before I hang up the phone call and everything? Um, I'm the best there is, plain and simple. Every morning I wake up, I sit excellent. And uh, the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow is... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that is how we were testing them. Like we were t discussing Monty Python's Hole and Grail when we were doing setup. I like the callback, but the viewers probably don't know that since that part wasn't recorded. At any rate, you have a nice day, Kevin. I'm gonna hang up and I'm gonna end the recording and everything. Take care, man. You too, bro. Take care.